Tak, a So in the Kaju lineage is called a, a special, I think kind of like a special transmission or special connection with the blessings. Uh, kind of like a specialized with the blessings, you know. Uh, so uh, we have to rely on the uh, qualified guru. Qualified guru in here in the Mahamudra, it means somebody already have a realization of the Mahamudra. So that, that kind of guru and uh, uh, um, uh, uh, guru is a blessing. Uh, your own, uh, 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 what called the uh, favorable condition of the accumulation of a merit and uh, uh, the, uh, you know, time and uh, circumstance of an environment, all those come together, then uh, you will have this, uh, 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 truly realization of the Mahamudra. So that way, sometimes it's called the uh, uh, Lama Chaja Chambu. It means the uh, Mahamudra, of Guru Mahamudra. Uh, so there's a one quote said, uh, uh, is not from the other's uh, expression, the, this realization of the Mahamudra is not come from the other's explanation. Uh, it's a co-emerge. Uh, and lame uh, it means the guru's uh, you know method of uh, instruction or uh, uh, or uh, method of uh, you know rapini and uh, your own merit the combination of this only can realize so not because uh, other than that like uh, uh, you cannot uh, have a realization of the mahamudra by you know by someone's explanation or by uh, uh, you know uh, or by realization which is from the somewhere outside so that way it said uh, cannot be expressed and uh, which is the core emerge within the nature of, within the ourselves so through this way so that so so that way um, as guru devotion uh, uh, or uh, um, uh, um, faith into the guru as a essential of a uh, part of the practice. And uh, today we are now uh, getting into the text. <laughs> End of the this, so there's a two campus saying two, there's a two kind of translation. Some say it's a showing by the lama's end of the timing. I think it means that like which is the kind of like final version of a, uh, the uh, ultimate nature. That's what means the duta duta, and some say duta method of the timing or the so, so I, I really don't know. There's a uh, I just heard from Rambuchi said Tita, top, top. So it's mean the method, the Lama's instruction method of the instruction. So no. So those have to come up together. Your own condition of the accumulation merit and Guru's instruction and your devotion. And the one, all the, those favorable conditions come only that way to re, have realization of this mahamudra. Mm -hmm. 
So when come to the guru, there's a several different guru, but in the Mahamudra uh, supplication, object to the Mahamudra supplication guru is a mostly is a self-arising guru within you. It's not separate from you, your own uh, inner nature of a mind, which is the self-arising, uh, as a, a manifest as a form of a guru. And so we we'll visualize it on our crown as a guru, as a uh, Rita, Rita means the Lord of the family, you know, like uh, there's a, a, a five families. So Guru is the also called the Lord of the all family. Or uh, Rita means the, uh, uh, so, so another way is a language is it can say your Guru mm -hmm. or uh, your Lord, Savior. Uh, whatever. So, so this is a, also this guru is a, not like an outsider guru. Your own nature of a mind itself as a manifest as a self raising guru, and uh, when we supplicated that one, then you realizing that in the nature of a mind. So it's just like you're looking from somewhere else to someone else, you know, outsiders as a not looking that one. So within the your own uh, self arising that way, there's called a uh, prayer. Uh, uh, Lord Jesus wrote the seven lamb prayer called the golden temple because it's, it's a road in the golden temple because of the location prayer name is a golden temple Sirkama. and uh, uh, so in that prayer at the beginning he said so they said all the you know, three times the Buddha uh, uh, body speech mind uh, embodiment the all the Buddhas three, three times Buddhas body spirit mind as a your uh, inner nature of a mind in it mind and permanently pure uh, and um, that mandala and uh, yeah, raising your guru that is a, is a showing as a this is talking about the your own inner you know uh, ultimate nature of your mind itself is the guru dharmakaya so when when we supplicated to the that guru then you have this uh, um, uh, realization of the uh, suchness uh, through, from that <clears throat>
So um, when you come to the Guru Yoga, Guru devotion, what does the devotion mean? The seeing Guru as a Dharmakaya. Um, so uh, when you see the Guru as a Dharmakaya and uh, Guru is the embodiment of all the samsara and nirvana, um, uh, so to, through the Guru's, uh, you know, uh, inner, what called the, uh, inner in display, display of the uh, awareness uh, and uh, uh, a ceaseless uh, 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 radiant of the, a ceaseless radiant of the Guru uh, uh, as a appearance of the, all the phenomena. So when we try to see that nature, uh, each phenomena is impossible to can cover by the, you know, that concept of the try to see all the phenomena are emptiness. But when we see, uh, you know, a, a guru as an embodiment of the, all the uh, appearance and, you know, uh, 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 samsara and nirvana, then uh, uh, all the phenomena are, uh, manifestation of the guru, uh, guru's manifestation, or guru is the uh, inseparable. All these phenomena of the uh, inner nature of the phenomena, you know, purity of the that phenomena. Then uh, 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 you can see uh, whatever you know, uh, 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 like a, any kind of object, whatever you phenomena see, you see they are also inseparable of the guru. And if I see in that one, then you see the ultimate nature. So this is a like uh, how uh, Naroba, uh, uh, you know, attain the Tiluba, like how Marba attain to the Naroba, how Milareva attain to the uh, Marba. This is like all the Kaju Lama is uh, gone through this by seeing the Guru as a truly Dharmakaya. And with this truly Dharmakaya, seeing the Guru as a truly Dharmakaya, and uh, you know, uh, what called the uh, um, single pointedly trust to the, that Guru and with the Guru devotion of the see the truly Dharmakaya and supplicate to the Guru. Uh, so, so that is how, uh, uh, you know, reach to the uh, ultimate uh, state of the, uh, Dharmakaya as a result, I can say, yeah. So that, that state of that Dharmakaya, I mean, state of the Mahamudra, sorry. So when you have this, uh, uh, what called that, um, truly devotion to the guru, and uh, like a Lord Jidisungun has to Pamudruba. When that kind of true devotion the Guru and it, for the realization of the Mahamudra, it not take that long, you know, even like only a few years, through the few years to uh, truly devotion of the Guru, you can have a realization of the uh, this uh, uh, Mahamudra directly uh, on, in, on, in, in short time, like a Pamudra Jidisungun, uh, actually, you know, uh, uh, follow to the Pamudruba or you know, attain the Pamudruba's teaching only a few years. But because of the, he's see all the appearance of the samsara and nirvana as a, you know, a, a nature displayed of the mind and the mind itself is inseparable of the, that, in, that nature, purity is inseparable of the guru. With this, uh, with this one is supplicated and, uh, 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 the realization of the Mahamudra it not take that long time of a, you know, uh, so that way those like, um, jidis, like uh, uh, teacher like Jidhisongun, it, it didn't take that much to realize the, you know, uh, uh, Mahamudra.
I make supplicate to the Buddhichita. So here, this first one is a, about the Buddhichita from the Five Path of Mahamudra, the spiritual teacher who is a, like precious jewel. Uh, uh, so this is a mistranslation. Actually, they translate as a literally in the uh, in the poem. It's called the uh, uh, treasure of the water. Treasure of the water is talking about the uh, cloud. From a cloud to we get the rain. So cloud is a treasure of the water. So this is mistranslation. So not precious jewel. It should be a uh, treasure of the water. If you translate it literally, if you translate the meaningly from the cloud. And uh, 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 and uh, coming out of the great uh, ocean of love and compassion. So uh, uh, so uh, uh, this uh, the ocean of or water, loving kindness as a water, you know. So his his heart of the um, uh, is the like a treasure heart is a treasure jewel is a uh, a treasure uh, what called treasure of the water is a cloud. So from guru as a cloud, and from gurus uh, and uh, cloud uh, come produce the rain, water rain is like a loving kindness and compassion. So it's, it shouldn't be jewel, uh, precious jewel. And said, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, showing the foot, oh, spiritual teacher who's, that is being at the path of happiness and bliss of the Jamijal, <laughs> 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 From uh, uh, so, so I supplicate to the Buddha, uh, supplication to the Buddhichita, uh, of the Guru Buddhichita, actually, Guru of the Buddhichita. So so this is a guru as a in support of the bodhicitta. So that, that should be here, guru bodhicitta. A spiritual teacher who is like the precious jewel or who is like a, a source of a, 
uh, uh, you know, uh, water uh, and uh, generate from that source of water of the loving kindness, compassion too, and uh, 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 embodiment of the Ransu uh, is uh, so it's uh, so embodiment of the uh, Buddhichita manifest. So Guru as a manifestation is the embodiment of the Buddhichita. That embodiment of the Buddhichita is a source of that embodiment of the Buddhichita is a come from the loving kindness or compassion. So that one is talking about the Guru as a, uh, how to generate the Buddhichita. So a precious one. Uh, and uh, who, who, from whom receive the sentient beings, uh, what called the, uh, um, mm, mm, happiness and bliss, or temporarily happiness and permanently uh, bliss, you know, uh, this is, uh, Yeah, so so it, it, this a little bit translation is not really at, at work as I want to try to uh, uh, talk to the with, with the English. I mean Tibetan. Yeah, Rambaji commentary on the Tibetan, so it's a little bit hard to on in any English that commentary trans, try to translate because it's meaning is a little bit change here. Laon. <laughs> To <laughs> So uh, here uh, actually said, uh, you know, Kesan Dola, it means that Kesan means the fortunate uh, beings. Fortunate being is a somebody have a you know fortunate to can practice the Dharma. Somebody who who has a uh, have a good karma to can uh, uh, you know uh, enter into the Dharma. That is a, like a somebody who's uh, you know have a devotion and this kind of quality. So that is a called the Kesandrola, mean the fortunate beings, and the fortunate beings who only those kind of they can receive that path instruction. So they. Uh, show them to and the path to the uh, temporarily happiness and permanent liberation. So who show this one is a Guru Bodhicitta. So I supplicate to the Guru Bodhicitta. And the, the final word, the Tibetan word is come, I supplicate as a last. So here, what is the Guru Bodhicitta? So generally, this is talking about the religious Bodhicitta. You know, uh, general talk about the related bodhicitta, but uh, it is uh, also when talking about the related bodhicitta, is including the ultra, ultimate bodhicitta too. So ultimate bodhicitta means that something that's changeless, something is a never be you know uh, what called the um, beyond the. Uh, a concept of a uh, uh, wrong and right or uh, you know new and uh, 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 pure and impure so that is the ultimate bodhicitta but so so by uh, supplicating to the guru bodhicitta of the relative bodhicitta also uh, what called the um, including here as a uh, supplication or uh, um, uh, ultimate bodhicitta too you know だ、ディタウンドラマチャンジョブセ、コテクイン、シネロ、ディランダ、ランダンダン、ガミ、ウェセ、チュデビチャンセ、アロワ、ティンディディシディ、タ、アネ、コテクイン、チェポタ、アロ
Yes. Then uh, said uh, in supplication of Yidam, spiritual teacher who is the uh, ultimate reality of the mind, which is uh, changeless, uh, the being of uh, the inseparable, the continuous, this ultimate, uh, the, the chief of the mandala of the primordial state, and displaying the various uh, manifestations of the different temporary and sensual beings. Okay, so in the Tibetan said, you if you read the code, they say, Kode Kunji Jebo Torchisims. Kor mean the samsara, de mean the nirvana, kui mean the all, and uh, uh, all their uh, manif manifest from the uh, uh, Torchism, it's a diamond like a mind, which is the diamond like a mind, mean the inner nature mind, ultimate mind, you know. Uh, which uh, is called is called the alia wisdom. That alia wisdom is uh, like a torjism. Uh, mm, it's a, uh, a vajra mind. Uh, yeah. So that one is a vajra mind. So we try to go to the Tibetan word, and if you can catch. <laughs> And Tengi so then in the next sentence that Dune Yungdu, if you read the Tibetan, Dune means the permodele. Yungdu means the uh, 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 naturally uh, existence, which is uh, the changeless of uh, um, uh, Bajar, earlier mentioned, a change of a Bajar mind which is the uh, primordially, uh, you know, um, mm, a primordially change of the vajars being unconditional un un and inseparable of the, uh, from the emptiness. Okay. I said this ultimate reality, so, uh, um, so this, uh, the primordially, uh, you know, changeless of the um, uh, uh, ultimate ultimate reality. Ultimate reality is the uh, it's called the yidam. It means the uh, your deity, which is the uh, 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 nature of your mind, which is the central of the mandala. Like kinkuru means the kind of like a you know completion of the and ki the core. Kil means the center. Kor means the surrounding. So what is the surrounding of the center is the Vajra mind. Like, so that way, this is the uh, principle or, uh, or the cheap amount of the, all the mandala as the, uh, your own nature of mind itself. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> And he done the fan number the shandy, 
So this ultimate reality of Yidam Chib of the mandala of the primordial state as the talking about the like a Sambokaya manifestation, which is actually uh, you know, uh, radiation or uh can say radiation? Radiate. Um radiance. Yeah. Emanating. 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 That's a radiation of the uh, uh, permodal nature state of the of Vajra minds. That uh, uh, the permodal nature state of Vajra minds radiation is a manifest as a deity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, that that is the deity. So that way, this is a uh, um, ultimate reality. So Yidam deities. But uh, then uh, certain beings they are. Uh, not capable to see that ultimate nature. So that we're displaying the various manifestation according to the different uh, temperament or different capacity of the uh, sentient beings, nature of sentient beings. So according to the beings capacity and uh, the, the various different type of manifestation manifest because uh, every sentient being are not capable to see the state of the Sambhokha Haya, of the pure uh, appearance, which is the major and minor mark of the. So this, all the major and minor mark and uh, all the appearance, the deity is the radiation of the or the inner nature of a mind or such as this mind's quality as a really as a form of the yidam and that yidam with the, uh, the quality of the major and minor marks all those are radiation uh, can say uh, yeah radiating. yeah radiating or illumination of uh, that uh, that particular uh, you know in our own uh, Vajalaga minds uh, display from the Vajalaga minds radiation as the uh, appearance of a Yidam uh, mandala. Gunzilla, right? Mm. <coughs> So here said I make supplication to the Yidam, the spiritual teacher who's ultimate reality of the mind. So this is called the Yidam uh, uh, nature, which is the uh, deity as a uh, Guru Yoga, you know, uh, in the Nijut, uh, you know, hearing lineage is a uh, deity as a Guru Yoga, mean that, that this Yidam appearance is a also manifestation of the um, Guru of the your own uh, nature of a mind uh, or in the nature of the mind manifestation as a form of a uh, very very variety of a uh, manifestation as a, as a form of a uh, particular deity in <laughs> Tao Conscious and 
So here now, uh, uh, so uh, that that earlier one, the second line was a yidam from the piper path of the Mahamudra yidam deities uh, as a uh, you know uh, in support of the guru. Now as the um, guru yoga. Guru Yoga said, I supplicate to the spiritual teacher who is the embodiment of the precious jewel. So uh, 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 Guru is the uh, embodiment of all the precious jewel as a, you know, inseparable, all the two, three jewels as a, from the Guru. Like uh, what in the King Indabuddha said, uh, um, my own mind, uh, uh, free from the um, Mm. Misconception. Yeah, f- uh, free, free, freedom of the uh, uh, freedom itself is the Buddha, free, 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 free mind, mind itself is a free, which is the free is the Buddha, uh, and which is the changeless, uh, that freedom of the uh, the uh, is a, which is the changeless is the Dharma, and uh, which uh, no. Uh, and with the complete quality, which is the Sangha. So in that supplication by the Indra Bodhi, also like our own the, uh, uh, you know, nature of our mind itself is the inseparable of the three jewel Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha. So that nature of our mind of the Guru is here, you know, ultimate mind, the guru is the also three jewels. So, uh, so, so the, that way I said, embody the precious, three precious jewels. His profound, uh, peaceful mind as a free from all the re, uh, condition thought arising from the dualistic conceptuals. Uh, That is the mind as a uh, the Buddha. So uh, a Guru's mind is a profound and peaceful mind. It's a all. It's not just only profound, peaceful. It's a free from the uh, uh, elaboration. It's not conditioned thought. Elaboration, free from the elaboration. You know, free from the elaboration thought. Is the uh, 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 um, uh, uh, the guru uh, the mind itself is the guru Buddha? Okay, then uh, uh, is perfectly enlightened, which is present in the Buddha uh, and his speech, which is the absolute truth beyond the uh, description. Represent the Dharma, his Vajra speech, and uh, uh, absolute truth beyond the description. Beyond the descriptions, you know, uh, that is a beyond the description, mean the beyond the conceptual thought, where to describe in the right, wrong, uh, good, bad. So beyond that one is the ultimate nature. That ultimate nature, that one is the as a Vajra speech, you know. So, so holy dharma of the Vajra speech. Uh, and uh, said his body, which is the manifestation of the mind, represent the uh, Mahayana Sangha as a spiritual community of the Bodhisattva. Uh-huh. So Sambhir Rasu means the uh, manifestation of the uh, mind, uh, manifestation of the mind, which is the uh, appearance. You know, whatever mind we put that way to appearance. So Sangha community appearance is the manifestation of the mind itself. So that way, this is actually Lama Guru of the, your own nature of a mind, Guru of the, your nature, nature of a mind itself as an embodiment of the all three precious jewels. <laughs> Can you put 
so uh, uh, when you uh, see your own uh, nature of mind as an inseparable of the all the phenomena so that is what does it mean the embodiment of the all the uh, precious jewels you know everything is a part of that nature of that mind so uh, so so that way it's called a uh, um, embodiment of the all the precious uh, the, here said the precious uh, you know three precious jewel but uh, mm, mm, as a uh, actually tibetan said uh, embodiment of the all precious yeah. uh, Tani that so here said uh, 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 unborn and the state of the non duality came uh, randa came said uh, and unborn luminosity, uh, emptiness, uh, free from uh, uh, what called the uh, uh, extreme, yeah, uh, free from elaboration of the extreme, which is the uh, dharmakaya, as a, which is the dharmakaya. So, uh, um, and uh, within the state of this dharmakaya, then the sambhokaya is the unceasing self illuminating. So uh, this is uh, that 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 own nature of the that, that nature of the minds, you know, radiation of the uh, 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 radiation of the uh, um, um, radiation of the appearance asa dharma uh, sambhokaya and. Uh, uh, and said is nirmanaka is a non arising when as is a uh, all appearance as a inseparable of that nature of a mind and there's no uh, object that is be existed by the grasping you know when there is there nothing to be grasping by the existing so then it's called the non resting you know which is the non resting mean that because there is no uh, existing of a uh, the phenomena independently without the nature state of the minds in, in the mind itself. So that is called the manifestations is ceasing the same time and it is free from the attachment. So uh, name is shuttles. So name is shuttle means the non-resting manifestation and ceasing at the same time. So that is a like appearance but non-existence. Yeah, so for us, we, what we see things we, for us is solid. So this one is a, somebody who have a, um, a realization of the nature of a mind, even appearance through the uh, 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 what called radi uh, radiation, radiation of the luminosity of the mind appearing on the uh, object, but still that is not really solidly exist. So uh, 
uh, same time arising and manifesting and ceasing as it comes same time. Make sense? So, so that is the Nirmanakaya. So in a nature of a mind or um, uh, in it uh, wisdom, in it wisdom, that is the Mahamut, I mean the Dharmakaya, sorry, Dharmakaya. And uh, 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 um, display of that nature as a radiation of the uh, 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 what called the luminosity is the Sambhogakaya. And that uh, in a nature and display, they are uh, what called um, uh, union of the, uh, uh, you know, uh, emptiness and uh, uh, um, uh, okay. uh, luminosity is the Nirmanakaya. So basically it's a empty nature is the Dharmakaya and the luminosity is the Sambhogakaya. Our union of these two are the uh, uh, Nirmanakaya. Uh, so, so that way it's called uh, and supplicate to the Lama, uh, the Mahamudra as the spiritual teacher, so the Lama, you know, Mahamudra as a spiritual guru. So there's a, a Mitipas <coughs> tradition. There's a two way to uh, give the uh, <coughs> instruction on the Mahamudra. It's called the Chicharwa and Ringiba. Ringiba. Yeah. So Chicharwa means the instantaneous one, you know. So instantaneous one is it? I can put correctly. Good, then good, then good. Good, 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 good. Kaya Mito Chia Missy Chaju Maja Rajin Lubersho. It is in your wind, you know, in your terror. Maji Kimi Rajin. Right. Need so this is called the nature of the Mahamudra or base of the Mahamudra that self as a so this is called the oh, instantaneous instruction of the Mahamudra Mitiba said Kaya Mito uh uh
not have not not, not have conceptual of anything and not uh, what called the not have a thought of anything uh, and not uh, analyze or not uh, uh, fabricate it and live as a nature state is it is uh, uh, relax on the nature state super show Unfabricated oh, uh, un, um, or un. Um, yeah, unfabricated is the Majupani. Uh, so, so unfabricated is the unborn nature. So that this is the uh, uh, what called the pathway of uh, all three times Buddha. So this this is uh, how uh, Mitibas kind of like a um, or instruction of the on the Mahamudra being who are instantaneous instantaneous beings. ตั้งหมดเลยเดี๋ยวอย่าเป็นงานด้วยนะครับจะเอาคอมเมนต์ลงมาเซตนะครับที่เรียนเชื่อว่าเนาะถ้าเชื่อว่าเชื่อตัว
So, so that uh, yeah, uh, free from the conceptual Mahamudra, Yile Deva mean the beyond the uh, mind. Mahamudra beyond the mind is a as a when you have a thought of I want to meditate, that is not the meditation. <laughs> when you have a, the, the thought of oh I don't want to meditate, that is also not meditation. <laughs> so when you get to the beyond that the meditation and non-meditation, and that is called the uh, you know yile devi chajeshes beyond the mind, Mahamudra, which is the beyond the mind. <laughs> So, so this is like a Dilubas six, uh, six Dharma, Mino. Oh. <laughs> like don't think about the past. Misam as a not think of the future. Uh, and uh, not Michu uh, as a not fabricated or not, yeah. So so, so like a present. Mino Misa Michu. So it's a rumble, uh, uh, naturally resting. Um, uh, rest on the uh, rest on the uh, ultimate nature. Uh, rest on the state of rest on the own state of the ultimate nature without the uh, fabrication. Shipper no thought, no reflection, no analyze, no cultivation, no intention, let it settle itself. This is the sixth dharma of the Dilupa. Thank you, Guru Guru. <laughs> <laughs> So that is a, what is the supplication to the Guru Mahamudra. Then the last one or fifth one is called the dedication. or to the supreme field of the merit, whereas the Lama, the Buddha, and one's own uh, mind are one. So, uh, supreme field, as a Namgun Chonde. As earlier, we tried to find the word of the Namgun Chonde. Mm. Always excellent, something like that. I, I, I want to find this one. I'm sorry. Give me book. Oh. Uh, 
time. And I'm going short here. Tung yi ngun bi shi. Let this year, Mr. Tantangashin. So this is it. Attainment of the universal supreme indoor with all the supreme aspect. That's what it is. Also, some other and one said inseparable of the appearance, inseparable appearance. So there's also another translation used as inseparable appearance. It's a So and that is a, what is the mean the supreme feel as a guru. And uh, uh, that guru as a uh, you know embodiment of the, all the time, all the Buddhas of the three times. So that way I said uh, Lama Buddha. And uh, and uh, your two uh, in the nature of a mind, and that that is a like a inseparable of this two, two of the supreme field of the Lama and uh, uh, three times Buddha. So this independent word last is said uh Ramsing mean the actual one, real one. So that is a uh, uh, like not imagination, the, the Lama as a, uh, and uh, your own nature of mind is a really truly uh, inseparable. Uh, then uh, that one is a, uh, the pure state of the mind, as a pure state of the mind as a unfabricated, free from the uh, duality of the subject and object. So that when is the mind is free from the duality of the subject or object, and it's it's become the pure state. Rikang Okay. So so here in the Tibetan it was a Mombo Namda as a pure uh, phenomena. So why is a pure phenomena? Because uh, um, in this case a phenomena are uh, you know. Uh, union with the appearance and emptiness, inseparable. That way, whatever appearance is become a pure. Uh, you know that is the uh, uh, what called the um, uh, so uh, here said merit coming from the Buddha nature. So it is a kind of inner nature. You know, uh, per model uh, exists that to uh, reality of that quality, which is the yebe I mean the um, uh, per model virtue can say yeah. No. You can say it, but I can say, but you don't have to listen that. <laughs> yeah. I can say whatever I want. It doesn't mean to make sense that one. <laughs> <laughs> and you will like that. Yeah, yeah, you will find that yeah. he's looking intensely. Which, uh, which, inner virtue. Which word? Yeah, inner virtue. Inner virtue. Yeah, inner root of virtue. So that is a, uh, it's a called a, 
promoted in a rule of virtue. So this one is a, um, uh, uh, because it is a, uh, inseparable of the your Buddha nature, yeah? So that way it's called the inner root of virtue. So, so that is said for the attainment of the can be equal is can be can be selflessness. Okay. Yeah, I think it's better selflessness of the Buddhahood. So mm, mm, mm. when you reach to the selflessness and uh, from there to you will read to the omnation one. So omnation Buddhahood, so reach. So this one is a, if you look each, each uh, uh, statement is it also uh, uh, with the Mahamudra. So that way the Buddhichita, Mahamudra of the Buddhichita, Mahamudra of the deity, Mahamudra Guru, Mahamudra, the Mahamudra itself and Mahamudra with the dedication. So within the each statement with the uh, state of the Mahamudra. <laughs> So, so, so which is the absolute uh, reality of the mind of the Lama per model state. So this, uh, so the, this uh, per model state, it means that uh, our nature mind, this state of the inner nature of mind is a per model uh, uh, within the us, this. So, uh, so that way it's called the per model state. And uh, which is the changeless like the Vajra, uh, and uh, manifest from my own root Lama. So uh, that is the uh, manifestation of the your, this uh, nature state of mind as a manifest as a guru. So who is inseparable from the my own mind, so totally free from the duality of the subject and objects? So uh, uh, a Lama is a uh, kind of like a, uh, you know, uh, um, Send that then I hear me. So, uh, right, our own nature of a mind, inner nature of a mind, purity that is it, uh, cannot be uh, uh, appearing at the Lama uh, as a free, uh, that kind of a dualistic is a, uh, no longer uh, there by um, um, on the state of the Mahamudra. So, that way, this is called the um, Sao Vibhakakaya of the Guru uh, as a. Um, Lama and uh, 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 our own uh, nature of mind as an inseparable. So when uh, this 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 uh, uh, duality of a subject and object is free, then you don't have a, uh, what called a uh, being attached of a, uh, that uh, duality. So uh, totally free from the duality of subject and object as a, I think, grasping on the totally uh, free from the grasping of the 
subject and object, subject and object of the duality. I'm getting what's going on. What did the new moon match with it? Mugulamin的，他他叫什么啊？出去去读呢？他读，嗯，去读读，他读，他读，他读，他读，他读，他读，他读，他读，他读，他读，他读，他读，他读，他读，他读，他读，他读，他读，他读，他读，他读，他读
um, the root guru, who is the three kindness, who show the three kindness. Uh, uh, so that's Guru Yoga. And the practice of the Mahamudra, which is absolute truth and essence of the, all the Dharma, uh, and essence of the, all the Dharma, you see, should be capital D, I think, here. I think. Did you going to the Dharma? Yeah. So this should be capital D, yeah, essence of the all the Dharma, of the Holy Dharma or Buddha Dharma, I think should be capital D. Remember what you said? Is it the yeah. Yeah. So, so, so that way, remember what you said, it coming later, uh, next word, so that way this should be, uh, you know, Holy Dharma. So holy dharma then have to be capital D, yeah. Phenomena dharma is a uh, small D. That's yeah. what I heard. Mm -hmm. Finally, I dedicated the merit as a, a seal by the dedication of the merit. This should be not a per perfect dedication. I then finally sealed by the dedication. Uh, seal uh, merit is sealed by the dedication. Yeah. Teaching Chumi so uh, it, he said, may I always be practice the five profound path of the Mahamudra. Actually, uh, um, uh, root of the path is a root of the path as a unmistaking uh, 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 five uh, path of a Mahamudra. So the root of the path is the unmistaking five path. This should be something like that. So what is the, why is called the unmistaking path? Why five for Mahamudra is the unmistaking path? You see, if you look the historically, you know, because of the unmistaking view, meditation, conduct, that way is a profound of the unmistaking path. Uh, by following this unmistaken view, metrician profound, the countless of uh, uh, our lineage guru accomplishing the supreme city. Uh, so that way is an unmistaken path. You know, if that's a mistaken path, no one will reach to the uh, supreme city of the, uh, you know, Vajadara. So this is all the, all, all the Kajir master, many of them, you know, reach to the, uh, you know, uh, supreme city of the Vajatara because of the unmistaking path of the view metric contract. So that way, unmistaking uh, uh, root of the path as a five, uh, five, five dharma. I think it should be like that. <laughs> So here said false is one, a uh, false is one or unmistaken is the same. So this, uh, by relying on this, there's a many, uh, you know, we have a sign and a, uh, accomplishment through the showing that meaning Kaju tradition. So that's like, not just only saying, is there's, a, you know, physical evidence that uh, their uh, achievement, uh, those you can see through the historical. Ah, did the Mugichu in Yamsulin and then Rangu Tone, 
So once you by reaching this state of the Buddhahood, uh, by meditating on the um, uh, Mahamuda and said, may I thereby attain the Buddhahood for the benefit of such beings. Then by the unceasing Buddha activities, like in Latin activities, as unceasing means the continually uh, by non-discrimination compassions. Um, Uh, may I be able to lead all beings, so uh, boundless of a sky, beings are boundless of sky, and uh, 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 with the un, uh, what called uh, 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 unconditioned co compassion or immeasurable compassion. He said that uh, you know non-discriminatory compassion. This uh, is so. Uh, and uh, toward to the perfect of the Buddha Vajadara Dorjicha through the direct absolute truth of the Mahamudra and without rely on the indirect teachings. So this is mean the uh, uh, mainly in the Kagyu tradition, direct teaching or indirect teaching is to talk about the ultimate meaning and relative meaning. So like Milareva said, not waste your time on the relative you know, so should be more focused on the ultimate meaning. So ultimate meaning of the Mahamudra uh, by direct teaching, that is what's direct teaching, that way to liberate essential beings. Show the path to the, you know, um, quick path of the um, state of the Buddhahood. Mm -hmm. Yantawane,Yamba so this is a last one is a, a, a supplication prayer or so say is a, in all my life I never be apart from the spiritual teachers it means that always be have chance to uh, uh, see the teacher and uh, may always be experience the bliss of the Dharma teaching mean and uh, to receive the instruction, you know, that is bliss of the Dharma teaching mean that is then by receiving this instruction of the guiding of the spiritual teacher, then you will not waste our time by mistaking or by, you know, uh, like a, a confusion. So what does it mean that then so that uh, we will be perfecting the uh, five Buddha Sadhva path and the 10 Bhumi. So uh, there's a, a stage of the, it's called the five path and the 10 Bhumi. Those, those are step by step by reaching to where is it? I may quickly attain the state of the Vajadara of the Dharmakaya. This is the uh, kind of like prayer to uh, all the practitioners. So uh, this this if you look at this prayer completely as a uh, within the state of the Mahamudra, 
within the state of the Mahamudra, and we follow into the all the five paths. You know, so this is more like a um, yes. Yeah, so, so so I think it's the same as a, a, a later said. You know, with a, 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 a um, not wasting time with a relative. You know, with a kind of ultimate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Rambachi said, then we'll conclude here today. Dumpy, <laughs> So uh, we did uh, this uh, samadhi empowerment, and uh, basically it's a, it's a really profound teach practice. This samadhi empowerment, and uh, uh, end of the samadhi empowerment, would uh, you know after they receive the empowerment, we deserve to the guru on us. And uh, normally we always have this called the guru as a appearance as a vajadara. It's a state of the blessing. This is a good, uh, you visualize in that way. But uh, lots of old instruction, lots of old scriptural mention as a, you visualizing your guru as a, that ordinary guru, whatever, everyday guru, the human guru, that visualizing that one alone. So long as you have a, you know, strong devotion, faith enough, then you just visualize that guru. And uh, when you visualize a guru, also your like, body is like a temple or, uh, you know, jar and guru is inside the body. And uh, in daytime, sometimes you visualize a guru as in the navel chakra, sometimes guru visualize on the crown chakra. And uh, when you go to sleep, at the, uh, so that is called the, uh, uh, called the Nirvana Kaya Buddha. And when you go to sleep, you visualize a guru as a, uh, at the throat, it's called the enjoyment body of the Samboga Kaya. And when you get in deep sleep, then Guru visualizing in the heart is the Dharma Kaya. So you can also from the four different time and four different location, you can visualize the Guru. This is after the supplication as a you know dissolution of the Guru. Then if you know daily basic, even you do other activities, you should visualize the Guru. Uh, as long as you uh, can carry on the you know, strong faith. I think this is okay to visualize as a guru, uh, uh, it, uh, it, it himself or herself, whatever appearance you know front of us, like not necessarily always need to change to the Bajatara. 
So this is uh, kind of like a, a ending. Mm. Do you have any uh, question? Now is the time to. The whole question i don't know if this should be asked but if you want to go go no no go ahead don't go. <laughs> mine is very long okay go ahead if a mount if someone gets really good at mahamudra and is a really becomes an advanced protect practitioner and everything is suchness, would the guru be everything? I mean, the bear needs a topo, but you know the hope into the uh, instantaneously realization of the like person who instantly realization is like like a almost like a daytime star <laughs> <laughs> so of course if you have that kind of a highly oh, realized sure, sure. and uh, if that kind of advanced you know realization then is it then you know everything say within the, the guru you say, the absolute yeah. yes mm -hmm. but uh, having incidentally the realization of the mahamudra uh, uh, right away uh, you know uh, the, the the instruction as a kind of daytime star it doesn't mean that they're impossible you know yeah. it's possible but like in daytime stars unlikely yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. likely okay. but unlikely yeah <laughs> <laughs> so uh, 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 so people who gradually uh, after your uh, seeing that that you know uh, through the instruction to see then you have to be like called a hiding yogi most of the just hiding somewhere uh, 
um, like their place there is nobody knows and you could kind of like a, you know until uh, you will gain that certainty but there's a, maybe there's some way but I don't know how to gain that one but uh, there's a, some point you will gain the certainty once you gain the certainty and and this called the yogic conduct you know uh, sometimes it's called the profound yogic discipline which is a then you test yourself go to the market how you feel what you feel that whatever you have experienced go back to the also forest or wherever you apply that one you know and once you pass that one then become buddhist contact then once buddha contact like pamutuba and jitasumun and they just you know uh, liberate sentient beings cultures so two questions from zoom the, the first question is can can we have a loom for the text in the future <laughs> in the future yeah and then the second question <laughs> no past no future <laughs> <laughs> no transmission um and then the second question is how can we generate more devotion to the guru so more you your mind is becoming closer to the dharma and your your devotion will be increased so then when you when you when you have that one then you will not you know switch your guru you know file <laughs> yeah yeah so then you sh you will show up respect to the everyone, not just only someone who wearing the fancy clothes or sitting <laughs> on the throne. <laughs> I, I add that one. <laughs> My turn. Yes. No. Yes. Go. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> All right, let's go. So this morning around 10.30 in the morning, you started talking about uh, this Mahamudra being a combination or a union, actually you translated of Sutra and Tantra. You defined it as wisdom, kaya, luminous radiance. Then you went on to say, three doors as the three kayas, union of emptiness and luminosity. It gives you direct instruction of luminous radiance of your body inseparable as the three kayas. What does that mean? Just you read. That I should get to get careers. That Marie, what you said, all of them. So they talk this year, that the music the charging the dogs on the race, and then they go soon that the Luna use on the thing. And so they say just all this Luna use soon D and it goes on race, and that carries. Well, it's a good like that. Which is that is that is okay, right? I got my answer. Yeah. Yeah. And then later on, more <laughs> seriously, you made a comment. Because <laughs> you, 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 we are not in the trail, okay? <laughs> you, you ask us like a trail. Go <laughs> <Cold> trail. <laughs> I write down the time the questioner wrote. I'm going to get read. I might. You comment it. this way. <laughs> There's, a, there's another Zoom question. Yeah. Uh, so can, can you just review again? You mentioned the, the timing with the visualizing the um, Vajadara at the navel versus the, 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 the laminator. 
we can talk to level yeah, yeah. la manager than that the guru than the tewala say that nego hila that is nego hila seven nego but nam give me move nego de la tella me nego de mama di rangi tewala ko dam dam la ya kasure jeto ko ya hati kare sun shebo te de kasure sanandu motion ne ma kasure che che na ane ma tewala de ko so so this is like a, normally called a uh, seven neck which means awake like daytime so basically uh, uh Robert said uh, visualize a lama at the navel or sometime in the crown chakra this too is uh, uh, related to uh, depend on your uh, uh mental state if your mind is a more like a you know um agitation you know uh, then you more focus on the navel area you know navel chakra but if your mind is a more uh, dilute uh, kind of the dual yeah tire uh, so, like then you more visualize on the crown chakra and when you go to the falling sleep and uh, guru visualize at the throat then when the deep sleep then guru visualize at the heart but this one is is for the beginner is a little bit difficult <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Just a little, <laughs> but you just like a, a zoom or you know this go through that, then it will get there at some point. And I have one more zoom question. Sorry. Um, so they asked, is it the is it the navel or is it below the navel? They were they were They were walls. They were walls. So sometimes. So remember, she said like around three finger below the navel. Then the Lama de Go, go to the Tower, the Lama Torchis sense the one. The Torchis and Barano Pogu Mendoza, that's in the Dubuji, the Lama Majuba, the Dubuji Javaji Zedwan. Then I let pay Torchis and Balachatelos, then the go to get the toys and toys and machine to go to Chance, Cassiana Toys and the Cassi Toys and Machine. Kundi in the same was in. Sebo <laughs> This really need good English translation. This one is like kind of like a you know first or second draft. Uh something like that. Jamajari this one. I have every word written down. But this is not good. It's not good. It's no, not, my uh, my word writing is not going to be improved. Someone professional. This is really a profound text. If somebody professional translate, you know, even you know, we need to pay. It's okay. Really, someone good one. Not rely. Somebody is not rely on the like a dictionary. Lots of translate. <laughs> they rely on the dictionary, and it's never worked that way. I didn't say ocean of here in Tibetan. Is this from ocean of definitive meaning? No. 
No. But it says it's a nine truck tax, no? Because isn't it ocean repair meaning that's right? So they, uh, no, they use as an ocean, they call the great ocean as a, they call the chudir. They think that chudir means the ocean. Mm. Yeah, water treasure as a chudir. So rain is not come from the ocean. <laughs> Rains come from the cloud. <laughs> No, but she did the woman. The Kalekaya I study oceanography, so I have to say this. The water will evaporate from the ocean. Yeah, but it doesn't mean they come from the ocean. The clouds come from the Nobody said the rain fall down up. We call the rain fall down. Yes. So it's not coming from the ocean, it's not um, up there. Ocean is down there. We rain fall down. That's the English language. Yeah. Yeah. Did it in Quran do not do my words? Not under does the Sambhogakaya arise from the Dharmakaya with the Yidam practice, or is there another way that it arises from the Dharmakaya? Sambhogakaya, the the longju zogu di tam chugu ne chungwa di Yidam ke chudu chungwa re ya shenda le Yidam mayi be shenda di ne chungwa ya mas. Yidam mayi be shenda shi wo ma was. Tang de shi wo shi wo ting di shi wo shi wo. Who so, this is not talking about that like we normally said you know we have a like a, always a see as a dharma kaya buddha's nirmana kaya we always see this is outside somewhere you know then said this is dharma kaya this is sambo kaya this is nirmana kaya this is not talking about this is talking about the radiation of the unceasing radiation that your own mind as a appearance a pure appearance as a form of yidam you know that is all is a uh, you know uh, radiation yeah uh -huh. yeah yeah radiant radiant of the unceasing radiant of the pure uh, appearance as a form of yidam so this is a, a part of the nature mind itself. So it's not talking about something else outside. Yeah. <laughs> so like the, for example, a kind of ordinary way, you know, said so when we said that grasping at the self, grasping self, there's no base. When we grasp self, there's no really base. That is the like same as a dharmakaya. And within the base, we have this grasping of the self cherishing. This is this like appearance from that. And that by that, then we have this physical body with the flesh and blood. It's like nirmanakaya, so manifestation is come from that. So like the baseless two kind of appearance, but it's not like sep not separate from that. spelling the origin.
um, this teaching can be used for um, like for advanced students or for just newly on the uh, path of Buddhism. I mean, the, the new advice is to everybody or it depends on the aptitudes of the students. That's what you can do. 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 Is there something as advanced students or... Because you said this is a common teachings, and uh, some people are taught more profound than these things. So this is nothing compared to the, those people who uh, are choosing subject that is uh, so profound, you know. So that way this is can use uh, anyone can receive these teachings. So I try to clarify Rinpoche. Uh, mainly your question is it that a beginner can understand this one, you know, for this one. So Rambachi said, even they don't understand completely, it is okay. They re reach some information. They get some information. They get some int introduction from this. So it is okay to not uh, complete, not understand the completely. It's just plain that some seed. So from there to get f further. But this is, you can use anyone. This is not like restrict to them. Mm. Yeah. So this is a, like not same as a, this day some people say like a directly in, uh, you know, in instructing, uh, you know, uh, what called that, point showing the point out, right? Point out. Right? Point out. I'm not doing that one. You know? <laughs> so I'm just doing the information. I'm sharing the introduction of the, you know, and uh, so that way it's, it's okay to can share to the, so, so this is up to the receivings. If you know this is two receivings, somebody really want to receive and want to get that one, and they will get that the meaning from there. You know that so so there is nothing liking. You know. Even this is not directly pointed out. Is there nothing liking? If someone is a who really like qualified one, and they will get that. Make sense? Yeah. I think you got that. <laughs> so we can we can follow the instructions of this visualization and how you think of your lama. Yes, the 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 so that was really good. I have companion on the path, that path. I have questions from three years ago. I haven't asked. <laughs> Yours, like some people have this, have some people have a question. When they ask and want to ask question, they get question on the question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shouldn't ask that one. Maybe this is become that one. Then they become so confused themselves. You know? <laughs> I keep them all. So. And then right next to it, Kempo didn't let me ask this question. <laughs> <laughs> she read all the information she said then what is this i wrote it i didn't understand it oh here's another question <laughs> 
You can translate. Google translate is good now. And then I, yeah. I asked ask Alexander. Oh, he's, 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 yeah. oh. Um, so I think you answered this already, but um, the question is Do enlightened beings, do only enlightened beings have the foundation? And the ordinary beings do not have it, but it sounds like everything manifests from one foundation, Dharmakaya. Is that right? I'll, I'll ask Alexander to make sure. I think they misunderstood the foundation and the base. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah. it's the base. And Google will translate from this. No, I don't want to end up. 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 The base is the base. I don't want to end up. Anybody want to practice exit? I have exit in Damaru. What what bit? Okay, so now we do the dedication. Thank you so much, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So tomorrow we will have a Lama Chiba. I think uh, it's just your information. Lama Chava is the uh, start with a, especially on the Kaju lineage. You know, Guru Yoga is a, uh, uh, come from India. Lama Chava is a start in Tibet. 